So the other day I was teaching a bunch of kindergartners and one of the little girls raised her hand and when I called on her she said, can you keep it down? You're giving me a headache. True story, I promise. Anyway, I immediately thought, volume control. ways to enhance your projects or to make them better is to give the users control. An example of giving the user control is allowing them to control volume. In this video we're going to look at how to use a variable to add volume control to your projects. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use a variable to control volume. Now this is not a project unto itself it's more of something you would use to enhance a project that you currently have that does have sound. This would be a control that you would put in, let's say, a splash screen or the first stage of our three-stage concept. And I'll include a link in the description to a video on that three-stage concept. So the first thing we're going to do, even though it's not a project, is name it. And I'm going to name it Volume Control. Now because we want the volume to be controlled for the whole program globally, we're going to do all the work on the stage. So to get to the stage, I'm going to click the stage and I know I'm there because I have this blue box around it. Now we're going to use a variable to control the volume. So we're going to go to data and then click make a variable. I'm going to name it volume, V-O-L-U-M-E. Okay, we want to be able to control the volume the whole time. Now you're going to control access to this, so you're going to control when the user can change volume by when you hide or show the variable. So we're going to have the volume control running the whole time that the program's running. So in order to do that, we're going to start it with a flag click event. And under control, we're going to have it happen forever. Now what we're going to have is the volume under sounds, down towards the bottom, we're going to set the volume, but not to equal 100. We're going to set the volume to equal our variable volume. Now here's the really cool part. If you look at the variable, there are three ways variables can be shown when they are shown. Number one is with a label and a value. Now if I double click this, one, two, it's just a value. But if I double click it again, now I have a slide. Okay, and I can use this slide to adjust my volume. So I'm going to create a little script, flag click, put it in a forever loop, and then from sounds, I'm going to grab a pop sound. I'm going to play it till it's done so it's completes the sound and cycles over and over again. So now if I click the flag, you hear it pops. Gets louder and gets lower. Our volume control works. Let me stop it. Now if you go to data, you can see the hide and show blocks. Whenever you want the user to be able to control the volume, you'd show it. When the user wasn't able to control the volume, you'd hide it. So if you had a link to controls, at that point you would let them change the volume. And then when they got out of the controls, you would hide the volume. All right, so there we go. We now know how to add a volume control to our project. So like what you like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.